Hello, Nick Ryan, and welcome to Humans of Data Science. You are our first human to volunteer to be nominated, so thank you. But if, if you want to just take a few seconds and introduce yourself and just tell us what you do for a living. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'm Nick Ryan. I, um, oh, I've been in this game a long time, but uh, now I'm, I'm working remotely for a, um, a fintech company. Okay. It's based like 1,600 miles away from where I live <laughs> in the bottom part of Australia and I'm towards the top part of Australia. And uh, so I'm a data scientist there, but I also sort of cross over into some of the dev kind of stuff as well. So I, I do a bit of that, um, that too. So I'm, I'm just really a spare pair of hands, um, and, but, but mainly data science, the predictive modeling, the algorithms, the dashboards, all that sort of stuff is, is kind of my domain. Uh, but I also dip into you know, front-end development where I need to. Um, but I also, I'm, I'm advisor to another startup and um, also uh, there's also another startup as well that I act as a sometimes okay. advisor to um, and also do a bit of consulting. So, so, oh, okay. busy. <laughs> yeah. so you have a lot of free time is what you're saying. That's cool. Well, yeah, some of that stuff, as long as it doesn't interfere with basketball and surfing, it's all cool. I'm happy to keep doing other stuff as long as I still get out in the surf, <laughs> and, which is over there actually. The beach is just over there. <laughs> so, um, another question about data science. When you started in the field, what, what, would you, what did you think personally was the most difficult thing for you to either learn or kind of get a, get a grasp on? Yeah, definitely for me it was code because my background's like actuarial studies and finance. That was why okay. I did it at university. Okay. And so I was down with stats, I was down with probability. I could rock a spreadsheet, which is pretty much what actuarial was at the time. It was kind of glor glorified spreadsheet kind of accounting kind of stuff at the time. Mm -hmm. so that was okay. But um, when I started getting into more stats and started to study stats a bit more, it was, uh, I started to discover R, the R programming language, and mm -hmm. then it was a real thing like, oh, I need to code to these okay. data sets. They're massive, they don't fit in Excel, I need to learn code, I don't know how to code, oh my goodness, my life's terrible, oh my God, it's so, <laughs> it's so hard. And, and that was how it, it was, that was the biggest challenge. In, in some ways it still is, but um, you know, after a few years and really putting in a fair bit of effort, it's getting a lot more comfortable. So, so what did you do? So you had to learn R, for example. Did you take an online course or did you just start kind of coding? Well, kind of both. Like I was, so I was living um, about uh, 60 miles away from where I worked. And so I had a massive commute. Like it was like two hours plus each way a day. So it was like four hours. Wow. And so I was stuck, stuck on a train with uh, lots of people like sleeping and stuff around me. And I thought, well, this is a good opportunity to start doing some online courses. And that was it. Like I did like a master's of data science on that train, just to and from every day. And wow. um, yeah, it, it was amazing. It was a horrible experience, but it was amazing. <laughs> and it and set me up for the rest of my career. So it was definitely, if you have two, three hours a day, you can achieve a lot. Cool. Yeah, that sounds like you made the best of uh, your extremely long commute. So that's cool. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, so now my commute is, my, well, my bed is just there. So my commute is <laughs> <laughs> We're all out of bed and that's, mine too. I mean, I'm in the basement of my, my house and I, that's where I work. So I love it. Um, awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. So now, Nick, I want you to think back to when you were in school. What uh, well, you was yeah. your most favorite subject? Uh, well, it's kind of funny because like in high school, in, in high school, it was always, um, it was like a, a law, like legal type subjects, because my, my dad was a lawyer and I come from a family of lawyers. Mm -hmm. And my, my brother's a lawyer and my mum's a legal secretary. And so they're all lawyers. Oh, wow. So I, I won like an academic prize and stuff for, for legal studies and law when I was at school. Um, but now all my family, whenever my name's mentioned, they all spit on the ground at the same time and they disown me and you know, they, they, I've just gone the other way. <laughs> so, but, but then after that, I actually started doing some work experience with my dad and some of his friends. And I thought, you know, I don't really like this. I mean, it's a mathematical way of applying, you know, solutions to a problem. But then I started digging into, into maths and um, I ended up doing pretty well in, in, in math and, and, and got a, a scholarship to do actual studies and that sort of thing. But that was only within a couple of years after digging, digging into it. So I was okay. kind of humanities and English and turned it around to, to math mm -hmm. and then, um, went from there. So, yeah, it's, it, it's a weird one. Uh, yeah, so in, in high school, it was definitely like English and legal. And then made high school maths and then university maths and stats and probability. Okay, so you're always leaning towards that side. It's interesting that your whole family are, you know, lawyers. So that's 
That's something I didn't yeah. know about you. That's cool. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they, they all still work together, which is kind of odd. But wow, so <laughs> you're like, they must be so proud then. You're, you know, you broke away from the pack. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, I, I don't know. My, my dad's a pretty, um, he, he's a cool guy as well. So he still surfs and plays basketball and does all that sort of stuff. At 62. Oh, wow. He's a, cool. Yeah, he's an amazing guy. So, um, yeah, he's a good lawyer. And, um, yeah, he's, and my brother's pretty, about the most chilled out, relaxed, surfy type lawyer you can possibly imagine. So, Is that from Australia? Um, yeah, they're, they're still in Australia. They're, they're kind of in Sydney and I'm like in probably about, again, Miles away. Oh no, maybe about a thousand miles away from there. Okay, okay. And that actually brings me to um, my next question is what would you like to do in your spare time? I'm assuming surfing is going to come up, but I, I want to hear it from you. <laughs> uh, I, I do. I haven't grown up. I've never grown up. So, so for me, it's like um, I, I, I do gym probably three, four times a week. Um, okay. I, I um, skateboard with my daughters as well, which is lame. I, I do surfing. Skateboard? Um, yeah, skateboard. I've only been to hospital once, so that, that's what ended up. What did you think? <laughs> oh, no, it was just like, uh, I took this hill and I shouldn't have because I was just uh, new doing it and, yeah, ended up in hospital. It wasn't great, but uh, nothing broken, just like really. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then there's, what else, what else do I do? I mean, I play golf when I can, but I've got two kids, so that doesn't happen very often. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. So the basketball, the surfing, the skating, the golf, and stuff. All right, Nick. So the last the last question I have for you it's it's kind of it's kind of different than what we've been talking about. But if you could possess a superhuman power, what would it be? Well, as a, as an old man and a basketball player, like I, I trained myself like through lifting heavy weights and exercise to to slam dunk for the first time in twenty years. So I've become obsessed with vertical jumping. Like I train for my vertical all the time. That's pretty much what my gym work is focused on. So, so just jump high. That's it. Just jump yeah, really yeah. really high. <laughs> that's it. If I had like a I want like a 60 inch vertical or something like that. So I, uh, yeah, I have a super jumping ability. That'd be amazing. Like, okay, cool. That was the old yeah, like the old school way of building that up just sucks. It's so much hard work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well, this is Nick Ryan, everyone. Just stop. <laughs> so cute. Oh